Good morning to, um, to everybody. Thank you, Charlie, again, and um, for your tenacious, basically, organizations and for your team, because I think it's, um, it's all good those days to be around and to be here for the next two days to discuss about the state of the world that, as Fernando said, it looks pretty optimistic, Fernando, for at least the next two or three years. Um, I, I would like also to, to say that the, um, I, I have been asked and told to talk about analog dollars against digital penny. I'm not though, I, I don't know where are the analog dollars today after the Fernando's presentations, but they are, they are still around. And I'm sure that we are all looking for uh, finding uh, um, basically um, the, next, um, the next analog dollars uh, to, the, to the next digital dollars in the future. Uh, basically, because of the time constraints, I would like to address you today basically f a few things in our industry uh, that I think are paving the way to be uh, in the long term quite optimistic about the trends and the shift we are seeing in our businesses. Uh, the first thing which is, um, I think, important to understand is that the, the world, despite the fact that it's going into a big turmoil today, it's, it's clearly going to, uh, to be um, um, more um, geared towards the cities around the world. And that's, that's something which is uh, a good thing on one side, on a very major challenge, as it was pointed out before, on the human being side. Because we start seeing megacities all around the world. Uh, there was eight megacities in the 70s. There is now 45 megacities of over 15 uh, million people living in. So we see that the trend is, is going that route. On 60% of the worldwide populations will live in cities by 2030. And that's basically a huge amount of people um, on the main challenge for all of us in that room. Also, the time spent out of home uh, over the past basically decades has increased dramatically um, as we can see. So again, basically despite of the change in the, in the way we, uh, we live, basically there is one constant, which is the fact that we are spending more and more time outdoor. Uh, when we look at the digital generation that uh, I'm sure you will be talking along, uh, along those days, uh, what we see is that we, we start to see a new category called the hypermobile people. And those hypermobile people uh, account today for 29% of, of the populations. But as you can see, they are clearly basically outperforming um, in, in the rest of heavy internet users, 58%. 59% of the multimedia or, or smartphone users are those hypermobile people. And this is for sure for us as a company, but also as a sector, as an industry, a, a major um, trend, a new trend for us to tackle in our uh, product development. And that's why we say that the, the digitalization, the digital in our industry, it's a natural evolution uh, within our portfolio of assets around the globe. So what we can say today is after um, long discussions, uh, basically in Europe, in the US, in Asia, in China, we, we start to really see some uh, major uh, digital development in our industry. And that's basically, that is um, starting to, to begin back in 05, 04, 05. And we see that in the major markets around the world and also within the major sectors around the world, EA, the street furniture, the billboards, and also the mass transport systems. And this is clearly something that within our scope and within the scope of our industry, uh, this is something very important to us because as you know we have basically two types of clients in our, in our business model. Uh, within our business model to secure the best locations for your media agencies and for our clients we have to really be very creative and very innovative because if not we won't be able to basically get a location just out of the Palacio de Congresos here in Valencia or in any kind of um, great location. So we have to basically look good to the cities or to the transport authorities to deliver the messages to the brand afterwards and to, uh, through the media agencies. So this is where innovation in our business model is, is very key and sometimes can surprise some of you in that room to see a media company basically doing bicycles. 
So if you look at the, the company's history, um, uh, again, it's, it's a very um, short message, but you can see that we have been creating uh, some of the well-known products today around the world, such as the, the, the bus shelters, the advertising bus shelters, uh, and then the city, uh, the, the city light, the city post, signpost, the automatic public toilets, with one aim. This aim was to basically get, in exchange of those benefiting kind, the best locations to be right in the heart of the city's uh, environment. And to do that, we have been uh, basically trying with our people within the company to think beyond our, the frontier of our industry, to think basically what we can do to serve the community. And I think this is, this is very important for all of us to understand that we, we were forced to do that, to be creative it's tough, as you know. To be innovative, it's, it's also difficult. And what we have tried to do is to look always at how we can improve, um, basically, the state of our cities around the globe. We were not looking for billboard locations. That was the consequence of our creativity and our innovations, the fact that we were able to basically install those products. So you can see here, I'm not going to, to go through, but that's the reason why we are basically, we have been the pioneer to install the bicycles uh, within the streets. And just to give you a number, with 40 cities around the world with those bicycles, we today have 45, um, uh, 77 million users. So again, basically because of innovations, we are able to basically secure um, uh, digital, we will see that, digital locations in the best locations around the world. That's, that's important because that's also a way for us to um, basically bring our industry with our colleagues within our industry into a next level because we also understand that we were seen some years ago as the oldest media. And that's sometimes a bit tough, you know, to be always seen as the oldest media. And what we have tried to do with many of you in that room is to see that this industry will be, uh, will, is, is really changing. This, is, this industry is evolving. Actually, outdoor is certainly one of the most creative places today to make, make, uh, to make this, uh, this business really attractive for, for the brands. So what we, have try, what we are trying to do today with, with our digital staff, first of all, digital for us, we think, in our industry, it's um, covering four main aspects. The brand, the branding, which as we said before, is and continue to be one of the main differentiators for most of the big corporations around the world built on values. And brand image will continue to be one of the driver of our industry and we never have to forget that because this is something which is uh, basically in your face. So you, we have to cover the impact of the outdoor through the digital um, into our uh, new products development. And that's also the media strategy. Certainly the media strategy, because of digital, thanks to digital, is going to change the way, as it was um, clearly um, um, pointed out by Fernando, it, it will change the way we go through our traveling experience, whether you are in the train, whether you are waiting for a plane, or whether you are basically um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a tube stations, basically where we will be more flexible, we will certainly be able to interact and to engage with our consumers, where before our door was just in your face, it was very impactful, but it was certainly um, not as engaging as it will be in the future. And that engagement will certainly be the way where we can find out together a new business model to serve our industry, to basically get new uh, way of basically investing in our media. Um, what you can see here is something that it's already done. Innovation is, is clearly something where we will see more and more what we call the contextualized, basically sponsored services. What you do on the web, you do it on the street. So with certainly less fragmentation sometimes, where you have scarcity, as you know, because you, you, this is a regulated environment. You can't put billboards everywhere, and that's better because of the environment. You can't basically install um, um, uh, 
products like this everywhere, but this is the, the latest Yellow Pages interactive kiosk installed in the, in the, in the French airports, which shows you that basically not only we are providing content to cons consumer, new experience to them, but also a sponsored um, basically product, uh, specially tailor-made for the Yellow Pages in that context. And that's very important because that digital brings you a complete new frontier for our clients' experience within, um, within our industry in the outdoor business. We can also, as we said, engage and create a relationship with the consumers. This is a, what we call the interactive show screens within the bus stops. While you are in a bus stop, basically, you can play with your smartphone, you can interact with your smartphone, you can do a lot of things today with the posters that will certainly pave the way to enlarge, basically, um, our, our, our market distribution. And that's, I think, the major challenge for outdoor today, is how we can think bigger in terms of creativity for our clients. Mobile marketing, um, basically the audience today can receive the contents of the posters. This is, this is not something we are gonna do or something we are trying to do. This is something we are already doing together. But I'm always surprised by the fact that we could do it much more. And I think this is something where we have to push ourselves into this new dimension of the out of home. Um, and this is certainly something that will create also, as I said before, a, a new business model for all of us to basically um, bring some more value into um, our, our clients' relationship. That's, and that's where I think digital can be monetized um, in, a, in a good way in the future in engaging with our consumers. Here we, we, do, we did something quite interesting to show you uh, basically again uh, what we can do um, within the, the outdoor industry. We, we have been basically um, putting a roll wrap um, for the 15th anniversary of Disneyland Paris where, Paris where basically people were prepared and um, available to um, put the photographies of their kids on the wrap. And that was a very, very powerful messages that we've got in, this, in, this, in these locations. And that's the beauty of outdoor. That's what we can do with scarcity, contextualized, basically advertising on the streets. And once again, that's where we can see with not a lot of money, we can do, I think, um, great experience. <clears throat> 